22 years and still no sign of Sherry Vanessa Holland. She vanished without a trace in 1996, driving back from Florida to Atlanta. But a new tip, a new one may have broken this case wide open. 11 Alive's Joe Hankey is live in Morrow, where the crews have been searching all day. Joe, what led investigators to Morrow in all of this? Well, Jeff, someone called the Morrow Police Department late last week. He said he actually found Sherry's driver's license and credit cards in this wooded area. He found those two years ago, but the name did not ring a bell. Those cards were expired. He didn't think anything of it. But recently he saw a TV special on Sherry's disappearance, and he called the police department. Now, this area is near I-75 and Jonesboro Road, where her car was found back in 1996. And this is an area search crews never went through until today. With cadaver dogs leading the way, GBI agents and Morrow police are once again searching for Sherry Holland, a woman who disappeared while returning from Florida to Atlanta on August 16, 1996. Morrow Police Chief James Calloway says Holland's disappearance appeared suspicious from the beginning. There were a lot of items left in the car uh, that led us to believe it was foul play. Uh, there was over $2,000 left in the car. Uh, there was a, a purse uh, with no ID in the car as well as a loaded pistol, dog leashes, dog food, but no dogs. As the search began in 96, canine units led search crews to a pond between where Holland's car was found and her dogs were discovered. Her father watched the search back then, and we also talked with her twin sister. Yeah, you, lo you lose a twin, you lose everything. It's like losing a child, you know, and I would give my life for her in a second if she could come back. We follow up hundreds of leads. Fred Mays, who was a GBI agent at the time, led the search. Now the agency's director of internal affairs, Mays received a call from Morrow Police about the new lead in the case last week. I was ready to go. You know, there was no way I was going to miss this search today. Today, cadaver dogs showed interest in at least three different places in the woods. GBI agents then began probing the ground and taking soil samples. Mays is hopeful in these woods is where a 20-plus-year-old cold case and the search for Holland will finally end. Every time there was a, uh, I get information that there was a body found somewhere, I always think it could, it could be her. Yeah. And, you know, as an investigator, you want to do the best job you can. And late this afternoon, more cadaver dogs hit on those same spots along with the GBI agents, but there was no solid evidence there. They're now going to take those soil samples, see if there's anything more they can learn from those. But as of right now, there are no future plans to come back to or research this area. Reporting in Morrow, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News.